Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, glad to have you. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up? Welcome back. So today I have a brand new unit by Altre, and I have her in the style Phoenix. Phoenix does come with your typical cap construction, your two combs here in the front, comb in the back, adjustable straps, but the parting does go back about four and a half inches or so. Now let's just dive into the pros and cons. First pro would definitely be this flaming copper color. I think it's very pretty on my skin tone. The way they blended it up here looks really, really nice. And then it kind of goes into this like darker, there's almost like hints of like a strawberry red in here with the darker auburn and then the flaming copper at the ends. I think put together it looks really really nice i do think the style of the wig is very cute you do have some layers up here and then you know longer layers down at the end let me give you a quick 360 of the wig another pro to this wig is the parting area it came just like this i didn't have to pluck or tweeze anything i did recently come up with a video about how i make my parting space look natural for most of my wigs so you should check it out it's very detailed and informative and a lot of you have asked me about parting space and making it look natural so click the cards right above here if you want to check out that video after this video yeah so the color is nice the style is pretty cute and i like the parting space however this wig is like not my favorite. As far as the con, there's been some shedding. Other than when I cut the lace, I'm, I'm still, still getting shedding quite a bit, actually. The texture is a con for me. I think it's a matter of personal preference. I don't care for silky texture wigs. And to me, this is pretty silky. Some might call it light yakky, but for me, it's silky. It's definitely not silky like that unit, um, by Altre, the Kimber unit. It's not like that, because that felt like baby doll hair. This feels better, but I'm just kind of over the tangling that comes with wearing long synthetic wigs um, that are silky. It gets a little annoying. It's good for a few wears, and then the nape starts to tangle. So I already know what I'm in for when I am wearing this wig. I was already experiencing tangling at the ends, um, to me, they're already starting to get a little rough and I haven't even worn it out the house yet. Now that could also be due to the color processing on this wig. I'm sure in a 1B2 color, that probably won't be the same. But yeah, y'all, I think this is cute. It's just, I don't know, not my favorite. Even though I like the style, something about the curls down here, I don't know. Oh no, more tangling. Curls just kind of like fall flat down here. Like it starts off nice, these layers, but then down at the bottom, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not feeling how they're falling at the bottom. Another con for me is the face framing highlight. I like face framing highlights. I liked it on Valentino. That wig looks so good in that color. But this streak right here, mm -mm. I don't like streaky highlights whatsoever. Just to have like this one streak of color right here and then the rest of this dark one B. Like this right here looks so pretty. And then you just have this streak. Like, I don't I don't like that. Some people like that, I don't. I mean, I guess to fix it, like I was gonna try to use this um, just to kind of like shade it in. I'm using a black eyeliner pencil and I just want that to blend a little better. That's what you can do if you're like me, you don't like the streakiness. You can just use a black eyeliner pencil. Some people use uh, mascara as well. It's just a matter of personal preference. So yes, I like this a little bit better. Kind of looks like an elongated dark root. Actually, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't know y'all, Phoenix, I had high expectations for her. I really wanted her in the champagne color. I really wish I got that color. I feel like I would be feeling her more and be more forgiving of the texture if I just had her 
in a different color blend. I do think it's a matter of preference. Some of you are gonna watch this video and be like, wow, Gladys, like this joint looks popping on you. I love the copper on your skin. I like it on my skin too, but you know how you just put on a wig and it's like, ugh, something, this just isn't it. Like this doesn't, this just isn't it for me. I'm not getting the same excitement that I got when I tried on that Harlem 125 unit. My God, y'all need to get that unit. I'm not getting the same excitement. And I love colors, but you know, this is cute. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, this is pretty. It's just not exactly what I wanted. You see I have my brush here because th this thing is tangling and it's, it's getting on my nerves. <sighs> All right, y'all, let me know what you think about Atre Phoenix. How do you feel about this color blend? The um, face trimming highlight. Do you like what I did to it or what if you just kept it the way it was? Just let me know what you think. Overall, I do think this wig looks cute and I loved her on the stock card model, but she's falling a little bit short for me in person. And again, if I would have gotten a different color blend, hey, I might have felt differently. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I did start a new series called $20 Tuesdays on my channel, which will be coming up tomorrow, so you don't want to miss that. If you want to see more of me rocking different colors, check out some videos over here to the right of me. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.